In this video we are going to talk about a guide to safely removing a tree from your property. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. DIY home and landscape projects may seem like easy to do tasks. However, other projects such as removing a tree require a professional touch. To avoid any disaster from happening when removing a tree, here are some things to consider. Get permission to remove the tree from the proper authorities. Most people assume that since the tree is on their property, they can decide what to do with it. However, some trees are protected by Natural Assets Local Law NALL, in Australia, even without the property owner's knowledge. Before proceeding with the tree removal procedure, ensure that you have the proper permit from your local council. If a tree is significant to the area, the local board might not permit its removal. Moreover, before granting you license to remove the tree, your local council will also consider whether there's any wildlife currently living on the tree. The local council might also consider the size of the tree, as well as its species. So, before taking any steps, ensure that your planned tree removal is legal and you have the necessary permit. Failure to do so can result in a hefty fine. Determine whether you need professional help. If the proper authorities give you the permit to remove the tree, figure out whether you need to hire an arborist to do the job. If you opt to remove the tree yourself, ask yourself these questions, are you insured in case of any damages? Do you believe that you can remove the tree safely? Do you have the right equipment for the job? Though you may think that you can get the job done, deciding to cut down a tree yourself might not be a good idea. The tree removal process is extremely dangerous. Whether the tree is big or small, it can cause massive damage if removed incorrectly. To avoid putting yourself, your family, or your neighbors at risk, consider working with professionals. You may need the services of companies such as Canopy Tree Removal Company Sydney to assess the tree to determine whether it's in good health and the best way to remove it. After the assessment, the tree can be removed with safety measures in place. With a professional tree removal company handling the job, you won't have to worry about anything, the tree will be removed safely and efficiently. Consider the size, condition, and species of the tree. Knowing the general health of a tree is essential before doing anything on it. Be aware of whether the tree is sick or dying. Knowing whether the tree can withstand its removal without breaking is also essential for the safety of workers and property. If you're unsure of the stability of the tree, the tree removal company in your area can inform you of its condition. On the other hand, the species of a tree determines how hard the tree is. Hardwood requires a substantial amount of energy to cut compared to softwood. The species and the size of a tree are essential when deciding whether you can do it yourself or not. If you're capable of removing the tree, it's more likely that you'll require help from friends depending on the size. If the tree is too big, then you'll have no choice, you'll have to seek a tree removal company's assistance. Remember, the bigger the tree, the larger the mess to clean up. However, you can add the leaves from the tree to your compost materials. Find out if any active wildlife lives in the tree. Before removing the tree, it's important to check whether there is any wildlife living on it. In most countries, harming wildlife while removing a tree can result in a hefty fine or prosecution. To avoid such events, check whether there is any wildlife currently on the tree. If there is, the tree is likely to stay put until the wildlife relocates. Consider the tree's location and accessibility. Consider the tree's proximity to any building such as your home, shed, garage, fences, and neighboring houses. If a tree felling procedure isn't done carefully, the tree can easily fall in the wrong direction. Most likely, if you're felling or removing the tree yourself, you'll be liable for any damages and may have to compensate the affected party or parties. Moreover, before embarking on the tree removal procedure, it's essential to figure out how to access the tree securely. Make sure the stump is dealt with properly. After the tree's removal, you'll still need to deal with the stump. Leaving the stump unattended may attract pests and can be a tripping hazard. There are different ways to deal with the stump, including, removal. If the tree is old, diseased, or small, you can easily remove the stump from the ground. Dig around the stump and cut off the roots with an axe. Work the stump back and forth until you get rid of the stump. Grinding, this involves cutting the stump until about 4 inches remain above the ground. This procedure may require a professional touch. Wrapping up. Though live trees are a good source of oxygen and shade, they can also pose a hazard. For instance, if you think that a tree beside your home poses a danger to your personal or neighbor's property, the best solution is to remove the tree. However, 
To avoid causing accidents during the tree felling procedure, it's best to seek the help of professionals. They have the skills and tools to remove the tree safely without causing any damage. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.